Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. So as you probably guessed from the title of the video, today I'm going to be filming my What I Got For Christmas video 2018. Now, I know pretty much every YouTuber uploaded and edited this on like Christmas Day, which I mean, I salute you for doing that because I could not do that. And I know it's Friday now and Christmas is kind of gone, but I thought I would still upload one anyway because I did last year and I was doing one for my birthday and it went down really well. So yeah, it goes without saying, obviously I'm not trying to brag both show off in any way, shape or form. I'm just filming this because I like watching them and seeing what other people got. It gives me an idea of things I might want in the future and just everything like that. So if you do enjoy watching it, don't forget to leave a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. And without further ado, let's jump straight on into it. So the first present I'm going to start off with is just because it's on the floor next to me. Um, and it came in this beautiful Too Faced bag, which I have wanted a Too Faced bag for so long. But whenever I go into Debenhams, they always just give me a Debenhams bag and it's really annoying. So yeah, this was off my auntie and inside she got me the Too Faced Under the Christmas Tree um, Christmas gift set, which I absolutely loved. Now, I knew I was getting this because I kept looking at it in Debenhams and mum was like, don't look at that like seriously don't don't even think about buying it so i kind of knew she was going to get it me but i'd not really looked into it properly so it was still nice to open on christmas day so yeah it opens up like a book and then it has three palettes inside which all make a christmas tree and they're all like velvet they feel like the anastasia modern renaissance and then you get a mini better than sex mascara so the first palette has just got a highlight a blush and a bronzer then the second palette has nine eyeshadows inside of it and i know these will be amazing quality because obviously like they're too faced these are expensive and then the final palette has another 12 eyeshadows in it so i think it's really good value because you're getting like a blusher a bronzer a highlighter 23 eyeshadows and a mascara all in a beautiful gift set so next to address the like elephant in the room would you call it that because this is probably going to be in the title of this video and it's probably going to say something like I got a car for Christmas so I didn't technically get a car for Christmas like I'm not that spoiled that I literally got bought a car for Christmas don't worry but basically me and my dad share a car and then um we upgrade it every like three years sort of it's one of them ones where you pay monthly for it and we got the new one about two weeks ago now so it's kind of for Christmas and it's called Snowflakes. So I thought I would kind of stick it in the video. Uh, if you would like a car tour or something like that, I would be happy to make one of them because, I mean, are they a thing? I think they are. Um, but yeah, she's a beautiful car and I thought I would just stick that in there because why not? Then the next thing I got is from Tiffany and this was off my mum and dad. When I say my mum and dad, I pretty much mean my mum's bought it, but it's off my dad as well. So um, she knew that I wanted this and this is the perfume. So I get someone from Tiffany like every Christmas, either a necklace or something like that. So this year I got the, um, I think it's the original perfume. There's one that I don't like. Yeah, it's just the original perfume. So it comes in this really nice gift box. And then you like lift the lid off and inside is the bottle. I've only got the 30ml but I don't go perfume, free perfume too quick so this will probably last me forever. But yeah, it's just in this really pretty bottle and I absolutely love the smell of it. Like we, me and my auntie sprayed it in the shop the other week and she sprayed it in my hair and I could still smell it two days later. So I know that is going to be like so well used. It just came in the really pretty Tiffany bag as well. Okay, so I think at the side of me now, yeah, these are all off my other auntie. She got me three of the Ted Baker gift sets. So the first one is All Eyes on Ted. And then it's got eyeshadow, um, an eyeliner, a mascara, and then three different crayon eyesh eyeshadow stick things. I'm not going to open it all up because this video will literally be seven hours long. And then she also got me the Ted Baker Shaded Blooms palette. I absolutely love the packaging on this. It's like a copper. And then inside you get nine shades, a big mirror, and then a little brush. I've never had Ted Baker eyeshadow before, so I'm super excited to use this. And I think it's going to be really good because obviously Ted Baker's a good brand. But look at that green shade there. Like, that kind of scares me a bit. <laughs> And then the other Ted Baker set that she got me has got a nail polish and a little lipstick in there. The lipstick's like a nude colour and then it's like um, a lilac nail polish. Again, absolutely love these. They're so my shade. I I'm very thankful to her. And I'm very thankful to her for them. 
I think the rest of the things in this bag are pretty much like stocking fillers off my mum and dad. So yeah, the first thing we've got is this little unicorn. It has like a um, rainbow fur, which I think is the cutest thing ever. And then it's got these little glittery paws. If you know me, you'll know that I absolutely love unicorns. It was like the ideal present. And I was so unhappy. Oh, and I was so unhappy. And I was so un and I was so happy when I unwrapped this. I also have this thing called a one liner day book. As you can see, it's absolutely tiny. So my mum actually got me the one day, five years. A thought, a wish, a hope, a dream and a memory. So each day you fill out each of those things for five years and then obviously you can look back on it. And um, obviously it's better because it's just a lot, lot bigger. And then it also has spaces where you can actually like properly write things, like proper memories, maybe like holidays or whatever. Um, and I absolutely love the design on this book. Like if I designed a book, it would probably look like that. She also got me some new pyjamas from Primark and um, so these are the like unicorn emoji ones. They say um, wake up magical and they have a unicorn and then on the back they're like grey with pink stars. I thought these were really nice and I absolutely live in Primark pyjamas. Like if I'm not going out I will be in Primark pyjamas. You can guarantee I don't own pyjamas from literally anywhere else. And she also got me two packets of their shoe liners because, of the, again, they're the only shoe liners that I wear. So the first pack are Disney, so they've got um, a Mickey Mouse pair, a Minnie Mouse pair, and then a Donald and a Donald Duck pair. And then the second pack, I've got a pair with penguins, then, like, little penguins, and then a big penguin. I also got this um, Heroes cracker thing it's quite annoyed that it is actually a cracker and when you pull it it just kind of undoes but yeah and um, oh my god you can actually split it there so you can pull it and um, yeah i absolutely love cadbury's chocolate and then again she got me the cadbury's selection box which is just i think the basic selection box for cadbury's felt this year i also got a pair of the like reindeer slipper socks these are the comfiest things in the world although she got me them in a size six to eight and even though my feet are a size six so i can understand that these are like so oversized so i normally get a three to five so i'm a bit scared they're gonna go flying off my feet but they are very very cute on to the first calendar i got and um, so this says in 29 be a unicorn in a field of horses and then each month just has a different unicorn on it i did actually get three calendars so maybe i'm gonna have to like put a different one up each month or something but yeah and it also has a notepad inside it and then the second calendar is a me to you one she said she found this afterwards i have a me to you calendar literally every year since i was 10 so yeah i've just had an obsession with tighty teddy for a very long time so she got me this one as well then from Pandora, she asked me if there was anything I wanted, so I gave her a list of like 10 different charms that I like the look of, and I said literally just pick any of them, I don't mind, because then it's still a surprise, but something I like. So she did exactly that, and she got me the little rainbow, so it's just this multicoloured rainbow, and then it has a little cloud at the end of it, which I think is the cutest thing in the world, and it's going to match in with my bracelet perfectly, because there's not really much colour on it apart from pink, so it'll like spice things up a bit. And then she got me another set of pyjamas. These, are, I think it's Maria's in it. The cat out of, um, my mind's gone blank. The Disney cat. I'll just say that. Oh, it's Anastasia. I'm literally going to have to Google it. So the top says no vibes and has a picture of the cat. And then it's like flared bottoms, which have the cat all over. Again, these are my vibe because they're like a white and pink colour scheme, which if you know me, that is me. And then this next thing I was so confused by because when I opened it, it literally looked, it come like that. I was like, what the hell is this? Like, is it a box of chocolates and a fancy bag? So I opened it up and then it had some tissue paper on it. Turns out it was actually a necklace from a shop called F Heinz. I know it's a jeweler's and I've seen it, but I've never actually been inside before. And it is this beautiful little unicorn necklace and then these little diamantes here are actual real diamonds and the necklace itself is sterling silver apparently it was the last one in the shop and a lot of people were looking at it but she managed to get it and obviously i love unicorns it is a running theme throughout this video even though i am 18 so yeah i'll be wearing this a lot because it's so subtle it'll be easy to wear i just got my finger caught in the box and then the final thing in this bag is an origami set 
I've never tried origami in my life and I never thought I would but it's got like unicorns and ice creams on the front so I'll definitely be having a go at this and it says how many cute creations can you make and then inside it just has the book which tells you basically like how to do it and then it has loads of sheets of paper to do it with and I love how they're like sparkly paper like that is my vibe how many times am I going to say vibe in this video so then moving on to this next sack um, these are like dearer presents I think still off my mum and dad so the first thing I got is a pair of GHDs I did know I was getting these because I was in John Lewis on Black Friday and these were reduced from I think it was £110 to 76 and I've literally asked for JDs at the back of my mind for Christmas and birthdays since I've been about 14 because like I straightened my hair yesterday and it's already gone curly again like I just naturally have quite bouncy hair so I thought this might make it easier and I use my mum's straighteners which she's had since she was my age so they're probably like 30 years old now so yeah I got the original professional styler which I just think is like the basic GHDs I've not actually like tried them out yet but they just look like that inside they're quite thin they will be easy to travel with and I'm hoping they do the trick because I've heard very good things about them and then the next thing I got is this misguided gift set so I got this on Black Friday as well I knew I was getting this so it's got four matte lip sticks in it's got four eyeshadows which tell me how beautiful do they look um, and then it's got a blusher a gloss a glow and a strobe so it's got like highlighters and blushes in which are liquid and then it's got four nail varnishes which i can literally smell from here through the packaging oh my god and this might be the best present in the world i got a mean girls burn book if there was one thing i waited for christmas it was this burn book it's from Spectrum and then it has all of the brushes inside. It's got a little makeup bag which says on Wednesdays we wear pink. I just point out it's Wednesday today. I am wearing pink. Um, and then you get a little mirror that says a burn book and a little um, silicone spongy. Though I don't really use them and it says you're like really pretty. Um, so yeah, in this you get the A10, B06, A01, A05, B01, A07 and B04 brush. I'll probably do some sort of a first impressions makeup video soon because I've got so much new makeup and makeup brushes recently. But this book, I am never going to get rid of it because, oh my god. And the final thing I got is the Mega Brand Box out of Boots. So I can't actually like open this because I just don't have the space to but inside it has the misguided unicorns want to be me eyeshadow palette, a skinny dip on a high highlighter palette, the Millie Macintosh looks lip kit, three hype body mist and a Naomi Smart bath scissor. I'll just show you them on the back there. So yeah it's got £54.50 worth of products inside. I can't wait to try it out because I've never had anything from any of those brands before as in makeup wise. I mean I have had skinny dip phone cases and that misguided unicorns want to be me eyeshadow palette looks beautiful and the holographic packaging is like you're calling me. Then the next thing might come as a surprise it might not it is of course a ukulele. Now you might remember me saying in my last video that my ukulele just kept coming out of tune all the time. This one, it seems to be a bit similar, like after two songs I'm having to retune it again. But apparently I googled it and it said that the strings stretch out over time and they stop going out of tune as much. So yeah, um, so I've just been doing like basic chords and things like that. That did not sound right, oh my god. Um, and hopefully I'll be able to play a tune on it like by my birthday maybe. I know this is an A minor. I think that's going out of tune again. That does not sound right. But yeah, um, I kind of gave up on the guitar in the end because that was hard. So this has only got four strings and they're a bit softer than a guitar. So I'm hoping this might be easier. But when I was like trying to tune it, I made the, I was spinning the wrong coil, I think they're called, to make it looser. And I didn't realise, I was like, why is it not going looser? And then I was actually, because I was spinning the wrong one, the other one with the string was getting looser and looser and looser. And then it actually, like, came off and I was like, oh my god, what do I do? But my dad managed to, like, thread it back through and it seems to be working okay now. I love the little case it comes in as well. And then my final, like, main present, which, again, I knew I was getting, was a pair of Apple AirPods. I feel like everybody got a pair of AirPods for Christmas. I don't know why, but I feel like they did. 
So I did actually use these for the first time on Thursday, I think, because my headphones broke. But they're so much easier because obviously, like, you just literally connect it and you're good to go. Like, it's so much better. I mean, I'm sure you'll know if you've got the iPhone 7 or later, like, not having this headphone port is such a pain. So AirPods are just making my life better and then I can connect them with my MacBook, my iPad, everything like that. So it's all good. And then as you may have seen in the thumbnail, I did actually get the iPhone XR today. So a lot of people gave me money for Christmas. It certainly wasn't enough to go and buy an iPhone XR, do not get me wrong. Um, an iPhone ad, an iPhone and Apple texted me or emailed me an offer this morning where it said that if I traded my iPhone 7 Plus in, in the next two days, I could get an iPhone XR for £499 rather than 749 I've been contemplating getting this phone for a heck of a long time and I've got to pay a lot of money out for another year's car insurance in January so I was like if I can I will try and get it after I've paid that maybe like February time but then I saw that email this morning I had about half of the money in Christmas money and then the other half I've just paid for so I haven't actually ended up paying that much so yeah, I ended up getting the Y iPhone XR. I think this is 64 gigabytes. I'm trying to get used to this whole face ID thing and I'm genuinely worried that when I take my makeup off tonight it isn't going to recognise me like I'm some sort of a catfish. You might be shocked to hear this but it did actually recognise my face without makeup. Turns out I'm not a catfish after all. But yeah, um, the battery seems so much better. My other phone was breaking and I'm really happy with it. It's so weird not having 3D touch though from having it like I thought I didn't use it. But apparently I do use 3D Touch quite a lot. But the iCloud syncing was great because everything just transferred straight onto this phone. So I was going to say I do what I, what's on my iPhone XR video because for some reason my what's on my iPhone video seems to do so well. But it's literally exactly the same as my iPhone 7 Plus. So I might wait a bit longer before I do that. So yeah, that is the big splurge what I've got this Christmas. And then I think... Yeah, so this bag here is off Amy, I mean, I'm literally just going to say her name because if you've watched my videos, you probably know who she is because she's been in quite a few of them. So the first thing she got me is my third calendar. I absolutely love this one though, and it says, dance like a fairy, sing like a mermaid, and dream like a unicorn, which, I mean, if that sums me up, if that doesn't sum me up, I don't know what does. And I love how it's ombre from like blue to a dark pink. And um, what the actual pictures inside are like quotes on really pretty paper. I just absolutely love it. When it's raining, look for rainbows. When it's dark, look for stars. Like there's always light. Wishes are butterfly wings and fairy dust. I absolutely love the quotes in that light. So thank you, Amy, for that. And then she also got me this little like placard thing it is. Like it's kind of a frame and then it has a quote inside and it says what is friendship it's the instant connection the conversations the companionship and the comfortable feeling of knowing you are liked and appreciated just for who you are friendship is me and you which is the sweetest thing in the world so thank you for that again i know she'll be watching this and then i also got her tickets to go to big beauty day out in april in manchester so i will probably vlog that even though it's quite a way away yet just thought i'd mention that and then finally from my, just show my address again for God's sake. Finally from my internet friend in Portugal, we always send each other a package on birthdays and Christmas. And um, so yeah, she sent me a package. So I'll quickly show you what's inside because I think there's about 13 things. The first thing is this little pink purse. Yeah, it's just a basic purse, like a coin purse, which will be super handy to put inside my bag because I always have my money loose in my bag because my purses are like clutches and they're about not that big, like that big. And the bag I use at the moment is nowhere near that size, so that will come in handy. And then she got me the PS Facial Cleanse and Massage Brush. My skin has been absolutely shocking recently. I don't have a clue why. I don't know if it's the heat in the weather hoping it's somewhat like that so yeah i'll give this a go and see if my skin gets any better fingers crossed she also got me the little xmas factory essence and um, nail jewelry stickers i absolutely love essence as a brand of makeup but they only really are available in wilkinson's over here and they're not the easiest to get to so yeah and um, i'll be trying these out on my nails but literally how big is that like my thumb ain't that size hopefully there's more in the back and then she also got the Catrice Metal Matte Liquid Lip Powder. Liquid Lip? 
Oh my god, so if you can see it's like powder, but then it's a lip gloss. What? That is so confusing. I'm going to have to try that out in a video. Wait for my first impressions, which will be coming in a few weeks. She also works with Avon, so she got me the Intense Cohol Longwear Eyeliner. That word has come up somewhere else to do with eyeliner before in one of my videos. I'm not sure where from, but I remember hearing it. So it's like a black and um, pre-shaped eyeliner at one end. It's like angled, that's the word. And then it's a black pencil liner, eyeliner at the other end. I opened the package, I was like, I swear she's got me a pencil because I can smell a pencil. That's what it was, my nose knew. Got me three of the Garnier Skin Active Pure Active 3-in-1 Charcoal Anti-Blackhead Wash Scrub and Mask. Stubborn blackheads and spots like pore strip thingamajigs to get your blackheads out. I've never tried these before but they look so satisfying when people do it in videos and they like peel it off. I know it's kind of disgusting but I find that sort of stuff satisfying so I can't wait to try these out and I can literally feel it inside like it's so grainy. <sighs> right I'm going to hurry up because my camera's about to die. She also got me another Essence makeup product. This time it is a purple pencil eyeliner which will work really well as an eyeshadow more than an eyeliner probably for me. Um, and then she also got me a little pair of like silver sparkly heart earrings and then I was so scared I was going to open these up and glitter was going to go everywhere but the way it is they don't. So she got me two of the Essence Live, Laugh, Love and Celebrate fixing powders. These are going to come in so handy when I'm travelling next year. It's literally just a little white powder like that. You can use it even for like eyeshadow. But it comes in this super cute packaging. Then she got me the Essence I Heart Friends Nail Polish. This is a metal one and it's in the shade... I don't know the shade and I haven't got time to go and find it. So yeah, it's super, super sparkly and it's like this grey colour which will look really nice on my toes I think. And then she got the Essence Shine 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 Wet Look Lipstick in the bold. So this is a bright purple lipstick, which to be honest, I have tried to wear bright purple lipstick once or twice recently when I've had like more out there eye looks on. Obviously not with nothing because it looks so out there because I'm so pale. So this will like get me out of my side of my comfort zone. And then she got me the Avon Colour Trend Bright Red Lip Gloss. Lip gloss, lipstick, I keep getting my words wrong. I have never worn a red lipstick in my life because I'm kind of scared I'm more like a vampire because I am so pale. But I mean, we'll give it a go. And she got the Essence Winter Glow Loose Eyeshadow. Again, absolutely love loose eyeshadow. And it's in this grey glittery colour. And then finally, she wrote me the most beautiful letter on this like pretty paper everything. I'm not actually going to read it out on camera, but I'm so thankful for that too. And that is everything I got for Christmas 2018. I've literally been filming this video for over half an hour, so if you've made it to the end, congratulations. So yeah, I hope you all had a very amazing Christmas, got everything you wanted. I won't see you again now until 2019 more than likely so I hope you all have the most amazing new year and the best start to 2019 make this your year and yeah and I hope you all get everything you wanted again as I say I am eternally grateful for everything I have received and I know that some people literally get nothing on Christmas day so I mean I'm so thankful that I'm like lucky in that way and um, so if you have enjoyed watching it don't forget to leave a big thumbs up and just subscribe down below and i'll be back next friday at 4 30 in 2019 with a brand new video bye